name is John Peterson, Babka's Operations Director. I'm Sascha Krohn. I'm the Director of Technical Marketing for ASUS and RG Systems Products. My name is Patrick Cheng. I work for Dell. I'm a performance architect. My name is Justin Fischel. I've worked for Lenovo for 15 years as a PC performance and battery life engineer. My name is Harish Shapruwal. I'm a software engineering manager. I'm part of Intel. Babka stands for Business Applications Performance Corporation. We're a company that produces uh, SysMark, MobileMark, and CrossMark. Babco is an industry organization that has a lot of leading brands and companies in it from the PC industry. Um, the idea is really to create a standard benchmark or several standard benchmarks that works for everyone because we all kind of have the same kind of interest, what we want from a benchmark, what we need from a benchmark. Back in 1991, there was a real need for a real world application performance benchmarks. There was none on the market yet. Babco was formed with this in mind and gathered up all the tech companies in the whole world to foster this creation of real world benchmarks. It's important to have um, a benchmark from a consortium like this so you don't run into the situation where you have different people running different benchmarks. You kind of want to standardize things so that helps different companies to compare with each other. We don't want to make a Lenovo benchmark. We want to be a part of an organization that everyone agrees we're going to evaluate our products on a base standard. Because we all discuss the detail, discuss the complexity, and for Dell as a company, it's very important to know the insight of this benchmark that are going to be used to measure our product. And also we want to contribute from Dell's perspective that which part we think is important for the future. It's important to become a Babco member because you get hands-on development expertise along with beta releases that the other companies outside of the consortium don't get until it's actually released commercially. Currently they have Crossmark developed in 2021. Uh, it is a cross-platform benchmark which is basically based on real usages. Crossmark is Babka's first benchmark that's a cross-platform benchmark. It runs on Windows, Android, Mac OS, iOS, Chrome OS, and Linux. It really does a good job uh, of simulating real end user experience on a device. So it does a great job of simulating opening apps, launching apps, opening windows, copying files, something that is not just running a benchmark within a certain application or a, a totally synthetic benchmark that just copies files around and tells you the megabytes, but actually emulates user behavior, like how you actually use the device. Before CrossMark, if a user want to understand what is my Windows performance compared to my Mac performance, there's almost no tool you can use. It's now a benchmark that can be run across multiple platforms, multiple operating systems, and provide a, a common performance metric so that we can compare. These benchmarks are targeted towards uh, the consumers who can run these benchmarks and make informed decisions uh, for buying their client systems everything that you want to run well and have a good experience with, you have to measure it. Otherwise, how do you make sure that you keep improving gen on gen and every time you have like a new tweak or update or you improve something, the user experience actually gets better and you don't just get higher scores in some synthetic benchmarks. We want a benchmark that can be accurate and be fair to all the operating system. The different platforms may not have, uh, you know, similar operating systems software libraries, APIs, and they all have system, different system configurations. It is very important to be fair and figure out what are those factors which are affecting performance on each platform. I think what makes Crossmark unique is that it's based on open source benchmarks. So anybody can just get this, anybody can just run the test, and you can directly compare with what's available online and compare with it. You can trust this benchmark because it's been scrutinized by our member companies and well vetted. Lenovo uses the Babco products because we like being a part of a consortium that develops these tests. We feel like we are the adequate voice of our customers. Our customers are the ones buying our products, and so we want to make sure that we are using tests that speak to the customers 
and how they use their computers. I think what's cool about it is that there's so many companies involved in this. And if there is anything wrong or somebody has a question about it or maybe has an idea of how to make it even better, um, anybody can bring it up. All these members have different background, different company, different expertise. I think that's the most interesting part. So how we at ASUS use Crossmark is also very interesting. That's another side of, uh, of the story. Um, we use it during our product development cycle. From the first time we create a new motherboard or a new laptop, uh, through the different production cycles, at every milestone, we run the whole system or the motherboard through Crossmark and then we can compare different projects. So we can see, oh, you guys are a little bit behind, you guys are doing really well, what are we at? There is free version of Crossmark, everybody can run. So run it and then see if the performance report fits your expectation and then you decide yourself. Crossmark is a benchmark that can tell you how much more responsive and faster a system is. And I wish I could have that for every product, like every phone, tablet, laptop, motherboard. I think it would be great if this gets widely adopted by media, by reviewers, and also across the industry, if those scores become available on all product pages.